An invasive tick that isn't normally found in the U.S. is spreading across Tennessee. It can make your dog sick and be deadly for cattle. New at 10, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon explains what you need to look out for to keep your dog healthy. The Shelby Dog Park is a popular place on a Friday evening. Savannah Tolls, Australian Shepherd Bear. This guy right there. Loves the great outdoors. Yeah, we go hiking a lot and we go camping with him. But on a recent camping trip, Bear brought back some unwelcome souvenirs. When we came back, we kept finding ticks on us, ticks on him, and it was like we'd constantly check him multiple times, but like, especially with his fur, it's really difficult. Now, every time Bear goes outside, Savannah worries about ticks. This summer, it was so much worse. Like, it, I noticed a big change. State officials say the invasive Asian longhorn tick has been spotted in six more counties across Tennessee. It was found in two others in May. The tick can reproduce without a mate and spread quickly. Since cattle and canines are at high risk for tick bites, livestock producers are encouraged to apply tick treatment to herds. Dog owners should also use preventative treatment and keep an eye out for ticks. We check him before we go inside, and then we also, I try to stay away from tall grasses. Entomologists say if you find a tick, remove it with tweezers, store it in a Ziploc bag in the freezer, and alert your health department or veterinarian. Also, monitor your pet for any changes in their health. Savannah will do everything she can to make sure Bear stays happy and healthy. You never know, like it could be the one tick that he could die, and that's that's horrifying. Nobody wants to go through that. <laughs> it's like, thanks. Okay, yeah. bye. <laughs> In Nashville, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.